guys, this is Michelle Kane with Michelle Kane Photography and Actions. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can record your own master workflow action um, out of various different actions that you might normally be playing step by step, one at a time, on your photographs. And what this is going to do is help speed up your workflow, obviously, if you're playing one action that plays five actions inside of it versus all five separately um, and setting the opacity separately, it's going to speed things up for you. Plus it's going to add in a level of um, consistency among your pictures so that you're applying the same treatments to all of your pictures that you've done in a session. So what we need to do is open up a photo and open up the actions palette. And you're going to click this little drop down um, icon here in the actions palette and we need to create a new set and so we're going to click new set and then from the new set we need to name it so maybe we're going to call this the strawberry session and we'll hit OK so now we've got a new set of actions um, but there's no actions within this set so that's where we're going to start building in our new actions so again, drop down menu on the actions palette and we need to create an actual action. So new action. And we can just call this um, strawberry one. And if you work in button mode and like the color coding, then this is where you could set that as well to one of these. We'll just set it for red and say record. Now once I hit record, it's going to start recording all of the actions that I do all of the steps that I take, anything that I choose or manipulate inside of Photoshop will be recorded into this action. So I'm going to hit record and what we'll see is this little uh, red circle has come on now that shows that it's recording. So the next thing that I do is going to get recorded into this action. So I'm going to work from my botanical blends actions and the first action that I know I want to run on this picture is going to be called spicy. So I'm going to go ahead and click on spicy and hit play and I can play an action even though I'm still building an action so we'll hit play there and we're able to see that here in strawberry session it said go ahead and play spicy from the botanical blends so it's done that we've seen it uh, come onto the picture if we want to manipulate or change the opacity or the insides of any of these layers we can do that here I'm not going to change anything right now. The next action I want to play will be called um, Rosemary and I'm going to hit play as well. So Rosemary is going to play right on top of Spicy and we can see again in our Strawberry Session play action Rosemary and here I do want to change the opacity of this so I'm going to drop this opacity down to about um, 35 percent so I just hit 3-5 and hit enter and now it's gone ahead and said that it set the current layer and it's to 35 percent. The next action that I want to have on this, and this will be the final one, is going to be called Primrose. And I'm going to hit play. And on Primrose it defaults at 70 percent. I think I'll just drop that down to 50 and hit enter. And now what I'm going to do is group all of these together because I kind of like my actions grouped all nice and clean instead of um, so many layers of actions. So I've got Primrose selected. I haven't changed anything here. I'm just going to hold down my Shift key and click Spicy. And now it's shift, it has selected Primrose, Rosemary, and Spicy all together. And I'm just going to click the Layers drop down menu here and just say New Group from Layers. And we'll just call this Strawberry 1. and we could change the opacity of the entire group of this layer here if we want to or just leave it at 100 percent I'm gonna say OK and now we've got this whole group called strawberry one and that's the last thing I want to do to these pictures so I'm gonna hit the stop up here as I'm recording and that's just this little um, square shape right here next to the record button and it stopped recording and now I have an entire master action basically called strawberry one that is going to play all of these actions for me so I'm just going to take in my layers palette this strawberry one and dump it to the trash 
and I'm going to play strawberry one and make sure it does what it's supposed to do. So as we play strawberry one, very quickly it ran through the steps. Let's open it up in the layers palette. There's spicy, there's rosemary at the 35% opacity, there's primrose. Very simple. So now I've got this master action. You might want to back it up and make sure that you save it so that if something happens in your actions to your Photoshop that you have these master actions that you've created. So to do that, again, go to the Actions tab and drop down menu and you need to have the actual set selected. Um, you can't save anything from the strawberry one. You have to have the set selected and then the drop down menu and you're going to save your actions and then you'll just choose somewhere on your computer to, sh to save it. I'm going to hit cancel in this case. So let's try this on another photograph. If I pull in another picture, let's do this one here. We're going to go ahead and place strawberry session, strawberry one. So selecting that action, I'm going to hit play. And now I've got those actions um, run consistently over the first picture and the second picture. So now if you want to use this to batch edit, uh, one way you can go about that is to go up to Photoshop and you're going to go to File and it's under Automate and then Batch. So once you go to Batch, this is going to show up the last action that you were using. So we've got this session or the set set to strawberry sessions. That's correct. That's the set we want to play the action from. The action that we want is going to be strawberry one, so that's right. And then you're going to pick your source files. So is it the files that you have opened? Is it from a specific folder? You'll go ahead and set that up um, for however you want to get your pictures in there, whichever pictures you want to choose. And then you're going to have a destination depending on if you want to just save them and close them or none if you want to go in there and just have the ability to make tweaks to each of those pictures that you just ran the strawberry one action on. If you are certain that you don't need to make any tweaks after this um, strawberry one plays, then you might go ahead and save and close. So it's easy that way. You could batch edit 50, 100 pictures all consistently and you would hit OK and you'd be good to go. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. To learn more about my Photoshop actions, you can go to michellecanephotography.com and select the Actions tab on the top menu. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you're having fun with the actions, and have a great day.